Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Skate from Tarkov video. In this video I'm covering the laboratories, Terra Labs. Um, so if you're new to the labs, it's going to be a bit of a walkthrough, talk through around of the map. Um, the spawns, extracts, uh, the keys, and uh, just some little tips and tricks. So uh, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So first up, labs has a maximum of 10 players that can spawn in there. Now, it is very controversial at the moment, the amount of, uh, let's call them Gamersock players in there uh, that have been uh, causing a lot of issues for people to even be able to play the map. Um, depending on the day, the week, the month, and the, you know, all that other stuff, sometimes you have a little bit of success in there and it's actually like, you know, pretty smooth sailing for a while. And other times it can be quite brutal, but let's not focus on that point. Let's teach you guys the map. So first up, 10 players and um, generally they're in squads. So you're already against yourself if you're, oh, you're gonna be in a harder time if you're playing solo. On top of that, um, there is nine keys for this map. I'll put a screenshot up right now of all the nine keys that are in the map. Um, I would pick every one of these keys except for the Violet key card as being worth its value at least. Um, say, for example, the yellow key card, it's not really worth much, but you can, within one run, you'd make the money back from it. There's like a filing cabinet and stuff in there. Um, but all the other keys are definitely a high value except for the Volt key card. It, it, it doesn't really just bring its money back that it used to. Um, I do have plenty of videos out there, like a hundred of each of the rooms and going into each room. So you'll see during the actual run through of what I get from the actual run itself. And um, you'll be able to decide on your own if you want to invest money into buying these keys. As for the rest of the map, um, there are no scav bosses. Um, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. The red key card is extremely rare. Uh, and expensive to buy, but it, it's just really, really high value. Um, I will have a link down below, or it might even come up on the screen somewhere, um, where you can go check out where all the key card spawns are for all these keys and all these key spawns. Um, there's three spawns for each of these keys, and you can also try and get them from Intel docs on the uh, scav junk box in the hideout. So um, up to you if you want to buy them all and that, but definitely a money-making map if you can survive it. Um, it's the only map or was the first map where raiders would just be spawning and, and, and players as well. And now uh, reserve has raiders as well. But um, if you can put this map on farm, it's you'll, you'll be rich. You'll never have to worry about, worry about money again. So um, as usual, if you haven't loaded up the map on, loaded up this video on a second monitor on your phone um, and then play in offline mode. If you go in offline mode into labs, you still need to take in the labs access card um, the, I should really touch on that real quickly. The access cards are available from therapists. You can buy them from therapists. There's barter trades as well. And you can get them from scav junk, sorry, scav bosses. Um, can also spawn with them. And filing cabinets sometimes have them as well. So there are plenty of ways to be able to get these. Last case scenario, uh, you can, can get them off the flea market. So if you go into an offline raid with a key card, uh, you don't lose the key card. All right, it'll say you'll need one to get in there, but once you're in there, you'll still have it. So you can actually... Um, go into an online raid when you feel like it. So offline mode, uh, chuck it up on another monitor on your phone and uh, let's get into the raid. All right, and welcome to lab. So just I want to make clear right here, see how we're in offline mode, key card was not used. Now, um, I'm going to try my best to explain this map as I can. So... Uh, there's pretty much three levels. This is like the top level. There's the middle, like the bottom level there. And then there's the basement. So I'll just go top, bottom, and basement. All right. From from this point onwards, just to just to be clear. Now, um, there are multiple spawns throughout the map. And uh, inside this room right here is one of them, the one where you just saw me. There's spawns on the other side down here, here as well. This is the first button that will spawn raiders. I don't believe raiders will... Uh, will spawn in this offline mode. I've pretty much got it off, I'm pretty sure. But there is a 50% uh, chance this button here will be pressed and that door will open up there, which will be an extract. Uh, it's called parking, uh, sorry, not parking gate, hang, hanger gate. Uh, once the gate goes up, you can run out there and extract, but also raiders will spawn in. Um, this is the main area way, and, um, or the main area. I'll probably go around the top floor first and then we'll move down. So. Around the back here, there is a um, another spawn down here. And this spawn down here is... Uh, it's fairly common. You'll get this one a lot. And then you have the choice of going into the hangar gate and pressing the button, or you come up here. If you do come up here, watch right here for a LEDX spawn. Um, it's 
worth a lot. RFID spawn right here. And then uh, there's a key spawn right here. Look, there you go. Tactical, uh, it's the weapons key. No, it's not worth a lot, but it's good to know. In this little server room down here, um, there is a drop down that goes down into the basement um, right here. And I'll, uh, I'll show where that goes in a minute. Coming back upstairs. Uh, so this is the first key card we're going to open up. This one is the green room. I actually forgot to bring in a key. Now I think about it. And uh, this one is chocolate block for meds. So you'll find meds on the way in and then on all the shelves and that on the way through. So uh, ophthalmoscopes and, and defibrillators spawn in here. An Intel spawn spawns here too. You just check all these shelves, including like here, um, a whole way around. Weapon parts spawn on that bit right there. And then you just want to keep going around. Um, I'm not going to stop for them just because, you know, it'll take too long to show all the spawns. But defib spawn here. I'll just show, show you the main ones. Med spawn in here, and then a Ledex spawns right in here, inside that little container there. Uh, keep an eye along here. Intel spawn right here, which we've got one right there. And then uh, more meds along here, and then a black key card spawns right here too, which is worth quite a lot. And then keep checking along the edge here. And that is that room. Now the one key that I forgot to uh, to bring in, which I will show you, is uh, this room in here. It's a, it's a key card with tape on it. Um, so I'll show that one now. All right, so the key card with the blue marking, um, it'll be this one, I think. So when you open it up, you can go around and, oh, let me get the flashlight happen. Um, there's heaps of meds and stims in this room, like Golden Star, Golden Star, SJ6s. These are all worth quite a fair bit. Golden Stars are actually worth heaps at the moment. I actually still come in here after people have already been in here and I still find stuff that they miss. Um, there's also a quest that's uh, inside here as well. So um, I think it was like, it's right next to the laptop here. You come in here, you loot the item and then you just survive the raid to uh, hand it in. So um, they're sitting around 160,000 rubles at the moment. I think they're probably worth it, uh, but I wouldn't use it every time. I just use it every time. It's like, hey. You know, we're coming in the squad. I just want to top up, you know, make sure I've filled everything I can before I leave. And uh, this would be the reason, or this would be the way to, to do that. Um, I've definitely seen ophthalmoscopes and other cool stuff in here as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much that room. Okay, and now that we're done uh, with that door, so this uh, hallway or staircase goes down to the other floors. You can go up, but there's nothing you can do up there. Running down to the other end here. Now, um, these things here, you can shoot straight through. So... They're not cover. They're not, they're not going to stop bullets. So just be careful of that. Coming down here, these are just med bays, like little med 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 areas that you can uh, loot from. And there's some extra ones down the back here, and these doors open up there. So just keep, people can hide in them. I, I actually think it's a smart idea to hide into them. If you're new to the map, hide for a little bit. Uh, as we come around the top side here, uh, inside here, there is uh, a safe and there's also like filing cabinets and other stuff you can be looting. Um, personally, I don't really go in this room at all. Uh, staircase going down here goes towards the bottom floor med area, which we will be uh, exploring very soon. This one is definitely worth going into to check for a uh, oops, a management office key that spawns on, on this table right here. Uh, the key spawns, I think, right here on the side of this laptop. It's I'm pretty sure it's like cash spawn here. Cash spawn here, key here, it's something like that. It's along here, there's the key spawn. You've got the safe there. You want to check uh, these shelves for gold chains as well as these shelves here for gold chains and vases and that. There was a chainlet right there. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much everything from that room. There are some like filing cabinets and that you can search, but there's too much other loot to worry about filing cabinets in this map. Uh, as you come down this way, so this is the center of the uh, the main area. Um, you've got a green key card spawn up the top here, and then an intel spawn down the bottom. You have another intel spawn inside here, uh, next to the laptop there, and also a yellow key card spawn there. This is going to be a lot of information. And this is the management office. Now this key, I think it's usually between 600k and a million rubles. If it's cheaper than now, that's awesome. But, uh, this key is amazing. So you got the, uh, Sheriff Eli badge, teapot, roller, clock. Um, you can get a, a signals communication thingy right there with about 60, 70k. 
Intel spawn safe. All right. The problem with this room is it's super risky to get into, but um, if you're after these items, particularly like stuff like Sheriff Eli badge, pro kill, all that stuff for the Kappa container, like towards the end, literally just sprint in here, grab the loot, and then try and just get out of here, and you can you can actually go it be pretty crazy. On top of that, if you were to come in here with, say, nothing but all your keys like this, and um, so we've got the management office key here, uh, room for intel spawns and stuff like that, um, it's what 180k or something at the moment for a key card, maybe like 220k. You went teapot, sheriff Eli badge, roller, clock, and you put all these inside here. They're around 70k at the moment. It's 50, probably about 40 for that. 110, 160. That's about 200k right there. Like, and then if you got the intel spawn on top, one of the intel spawns, you've made you've made your key card back. So, um. It's up to you, but the information's there. Um, now, we'll go this way first. We'll keep keep going around the same way, uh, the clockwise around the map. So this is the yellow keycard room. Um, with this room, honestly, it's not really like much of a, a room to go into. You do catch people out by going in here because people aren't expecting it. Um, if you press the turn off announcement button, and now when we press the keycard on the panel on the other side, the door will still open, but the announcer won't announce that the door's opening. That's the big difference. You can find some spawns along the top here. You've got the computer there, and there's a filing cabinet inside here. Um, it's not really one of those keys that, like, you know, it's going to make you, like, bank, but it's just something good to know. This is the parking hangar. or the parking gate, sorry. Uh, with the parking gate, you've got the button here to open up the gate. You press the button. The gate opens up. We've turned off the announcer. That's why you don't, like, hear the announcer calling it out. But the um, but the gate is opening, and we would be able to extract from there. Moving down this way, um, so this this little office is actually really good. There's a jacket there, and you want to check uh the shelves in here, an intel spawn on top of the uh the desk here, and there's some there's some rollers and and gold chains can spawn inside here. You can loot that there, but I never really waste my time. I kind of do it when I'm like got nothing else to do. Coming inside here, uh, you want to check the sides here for gold chains. Um, on top of here, I like to stand in the center and just jump on top of it because it's easier. There's a Intel spawn. You got the sugar. Sugar's worth like 70, 80 k. But Intel spawn, a VPX spawn, and an RFID spawn all along the sides of the uh, table. So um, without making you too dizzy, as you come down this way, this is the uh, the best room in the game for loot. Um, but it's the most expensive key. So coming inside here, there is a key spawn for the weapon testing area key on here. Coming down this way, you've got a green key card spawn right here. Intel spawn right here. This is the red key card. Um, it's about 55 million rubles, give or take. 10 million, depending on time of the wipe. Um, you can get locked in here. So someone could uh, someone could shut the door on you if you're in here. Uh, and if you don't have the key, you'll be stuck. So if, if, you, if you find this open, you walk in here and then someone shuts the door behind you, you'll be stuck. Um, ammo spawns along here. Intel spawn on here. Uh, M4s and MP5 and MP5 SD spawn on both these weapon racks. Um, you got heaps more ammo spawns on here. Weapon parts all along here. Sights, suppressors and all that. Um, this is the Arsenal security key. This is about 60,000 rubles. And then once you come in here, you've got um, clock, roller. I'll show you a little trick so you can have a better look. So you open up both filing cabinets at the same time. Um, you can get like all along this shelf here, you'll get pro kills, bitcoins, lions. You make this room alone, if you came in here with just a backpack and nothing else, this room alone would be worth like 600, 700,000 rubles. Pretty comfortably. Golden stars, um, ophthalmoscopes. You got suppressors. It's it's just a money making machine room. This is probably like the lower end of what you can get in this room, and it's a clock, a roller, and uh, and some meds and stuff. Normally you'll have like a couple of guns and the Intel spawn chance. So yeah, it is what it is. It's pretty crazy. Uh, this one's the Violet key card. This room, don't even waste your money buying the card. If you find the card, you want to hang on to it because you got just an excess amount of money. Sweet, but uh, you can get some spawns like RFIDs and that in here. Uh, there's, RFID, I think it's like the softcom soft com communications thing. Um, weapon crates, sights, suppressors, two sights there and a suppressor. 
Um, more sites and suppressors can spawn here. And then um, when you come to here, see there's a gold chain there. You want to look at the floor. I'll show you what happens when, if I can, see how the gold chain's disappeared. Um, you can see the end of it, but that's because I placed it there. But if, um, if I place it right, I might have to. Anyway, you can find lions and stuff under there just because it's just into the floor kind of thing. So just be checking that. Um, a lot of people will miss that even when they do open the room. But that's the pretty much uh, that room. I wouldn't ex uh, spend too, too much more time and money. I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend my money in there really um, getting that key. Now, med bag in this room. And then there's med spawns also down the end there. So if you're struggling for meds, say like you can't get onto that side of the map because there's too much action going on, but you want to top up your meds, uh, in here is some meds. Coming inside here, you've got um, the cafeteria. There is a yellow key card spawn on top of this table. And then also through here, uh, plenty of food spawns, and we call this one freezer. So this is where we started. So that's the top floor. All right, so we'll go down and we'll uh, start checking out the bottom floor. There is a uh, hallway down the back here. I'll show you a couple of tricks, um, unless I've changed it. If you sh if you want, you can jump up here and you can peek people down there like that. Something to be very careful of too is um, you can actually shoot people as they kind of cr come across the bridge there. Most of these, if you jump and then crouch, you can jump out of too. I do this a lot when I'm trying to get away from people. Because squads will really push you hard. If you're in this section here, squads will push you hard. Alright, so... This is the, uh... Just coming down from, uh... From, from Freezer. This is, uh... Hangar Gate. I'm not going to go through the all the same areas again because, you know, we've kind of seen them. There are some, uh... Some, some stuff around the back here. Um, raiders do spawn in that back room down there. Now, into the lecture room over here. Um... You've got an RFID spawn on here, MP5 SD spawn on, oh no, MPX spawn on there, sorry. A VPX spawn here, and also an M4 spawn up here. Coming across here. Um, right there you can get a Vertex spawn. And then also down here you can, uh, you can find like Tetris and graphics cards and stuff like that. RFIDs and stuff will spawn on top of these two here as well. We're going to go back into the main area first, so kind of get the same clockwise direction, move around the map. Um, so this is the weapons testing room, so reference the uh, the management office up there, and uh, the hangar gate towards there. Weapons testing room, this key's super cheap, like 70,000 rubles, maybe less. Um, and, you know, night vision, uh, you can get pimped out M4s, you can get a really pimped out M4 um, on this table right here, and then some ammo, and then two weapon crates. You can open up both doors. These these windows bulletproof. You can stand here and watch people, and they can be shooting you in the head. Won't they won't do any damage to you? So um, something to note. Uh, this is the uh, the things I was talking about the signal transmitters before. So signal transmitter here. Intel spawn right next to it. And then if you're after streamer items, um, like the fire clean gun lube right here, uh, the fire steel spawns here. Fuel conditioner here. Moving across over here. Intelligence spawn is right here. We've got the, the track up to the management office over there. Now you want to be checking these shells for RFIDs, Tetrises. Uh, there's a black key card spawn on top of here as well. I always seem to miss it for some reason. Vertex spawn right here and graphics cards can spawn down the bottom here. A VPX spawn there. And uh, Intel spawn right here. Another Intel spawn right here. I know I'm like probably giving you so much information that you're going to be like, what the hell's going on? Um, and then LedX is spawn over here. So, um, on top of these barrels. So, this is the major money section. I'm, I'm just showing you to so see at least you know it. A Vertex spawns there as well. And then another uh, signal transmitter right there. Med spawn in this room over here. And check the floor over here as well for off my scopes and that. And that's pretty much that entirety of uh, the main area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down this way now. So this is the black key card room. And before I go in there real quick, I just want to show you like the server room. Just give you bearings. So where we sh I showed you the server room and I went back up to the green. 
So down from the server room, um, there was that staircase I showed you the other time. This is just down one level, and then the black keycard room in here. Now with the black keycard room, um, it's pretty much all going to be stims. And uh, you're going to be checking all the floor, all across here, there, there, on top of here, on the floor here, next to that, on the chairs here, on the, on, uh, the bed and on the floor, on the bed over here. And uh, you can actually get between 7 and 10 pretty consistently from that room. Now we're going to run straight down the end of this hallway uh, to the blue room. The blue room is... It used to be like really like kind of ordinary, but now it's kind of picked up a fair bit because of the lead spawn inside there. And apparently you get defibs in here as well. I haven't seen one of recent, but apparently you can as well. So blue room. Um, you'll be checking all the sides along here. Off the scope, so there's like 80k there. 80 to 100. Let X spawn is on the bottom shelf here. And then you're just going to be checking the shelves and all the uh, all the sides for meds. Along here. You come in here. Check the top. And then the bottom as well. And along the top here. Once you leave outside there, you can come across here and you can get a green keycard spawn just right there. Um, a green key card spawned, so more meds do spawn down the back there. Cutting along the bottom, uh, we're going to go around the back. Now, there's those two offices upstairs. This is the one underneath. Now, right here is a management office key spawn as well. So it's worth checking out that one. Whereas the other one was on that top office on the other side. We're not going to go through that main area because we've already showed it. But we're going to go around this back way. This goes across the parking gate. And the uh, the parking gate's over here. So another management office key spawn over here. On that seat. And I want to show you a couple of little tips and tricks that I personally like about this side. So I will press that button. I'll go straight back down the staircase and I'll spread across here into this doorway. This doorway will be usually closed. I always make sure that one's closed before I do this. There's a pretty good chance two raiders will spawn in here. So if you charge across here, they'll still be inside here when you kill them. And you'll get two raiders just like quick like that. That way you can start grabbing their loot. After that, because there will be uh, more raiders spawning in, you can, you can hang over here and, and bait them in and slowly get their loot that way. And then if those doors are closed... You can pretty much uh, keep an eye on those doors as soon as you see one open or you hear someone coming. Then you can uh, lay prone down here and just wait for them to uh, stick their heads out. I get a lot of kills from hanging out in this hallway. You'll hear wood, this noise over here. That wood noise. And that's a giveaway that someone's coming up, that someone's over here. So you've actually got, it's, it's, it's pretty good to be able to get away because you'll hear people running along the top. You'll hear, and you'll hear them go top and then down to wood. You just close the door as, as you hear them coming, and then you run the other way. And you just like run out this way. So I find it a really good spot to do a lot of my fighting from. A lot of people like fighting on the other side. And the problem with that one is I don't like how many angles there are uh, in trying to defend it. So we will go over there now, though. So there is a spawn down here, and you'll spawn down here. And you'll come up and you'll be straight into the parking gate. So it's really up to you what you want to do with this one. Um, if you want to go, you know, up and out through anything like that or um, sorry, up and, and press the buttons or, you know, charge the middle of the map, try and go for the high tier loot. But it's, it's, this map is, it's one of those things like if I tell you to go a certain way, it's not going to be right every time. And then you'll be like, Pest Duty told me to go this way. So just... See as it is. Something that you need to need to really take note of is people are completely... If you're upstairs, people are completely silent walking up this way. Until they get to about here, they're completely silent. So if you're up fighting in this area here, you won't even know that they're coming up behind you. And the amount of times... Like, I always keep these doors closed because it at least gives you that split second to react when they open a door. But it's this is why I don't like hiding on this side or fighting on this side. Um, the angles on here is actually quite sketch as well, because if you're fighting from this side, you know, like your head's pretty badly, 
like you, your head's covered here, but you can shoot through this box. And and then if you try and pick that, you can't. So you really only have the one option for the peak. Um, whereas they can, they kind of can do some extra stuff, but this is normally a grenade, like a grenade battle here, what happens. So I, don't, I just don't like fighting in this side. Personally, I find it a lot harder um, to win the fights. Mostly because it, it turns more into a coin flip than a, a skill-based fight. Um, going around the back here. There is uh, one more uh, spawn over here. You'll spawn right here. It's a really sketchy spawn when you get this one. So, personally, I don't like it. If I get this spawn, I run straight into this side here. Um, you do have the options to go into the safe and the jacket and all that down here. But generally, I go through there and then... I'll come around the back here, and there's a spawn up in that hallway. And I, if I do it really quick and I've got some grenades on me, I'll just start lobbing grenades in there. And if people are slow getting out of their spawn, you actually kill them. Um, if you come up this staircase, you sometimes can catch people off here. But the problem with that is, most likely, if they're actually half decent, they'll slot you as you come up because you'll make noise as you're coming up. Uh, and then that goes back to where the red keycard spawn is. As for that level, I've pretty much covered everything on that. Now I'm going to go over most of the extracts and the basement. Um, they kind of all get triggered from the basement. So moving down from that area, you'll you'll have a lot of spawns down in the basement too. So there's a panel right here as you come down from, I guess, I don't know what you call this room, but whatever this blue pumping room is, I'm going to call it blue pumping room for now. Um, <laughs> you come down there, you press that button there, and there's an extract on the other side of this. Um, it's a pretty sweet little extract because you can get out of it nice and quick. You press the elevator button, the wait for the elevator to come. Uh, it's called main elevator, by the way. And then you can extract from that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do a, a lap around the outside of the basement. I just want to show you what the elevator looks like and how it works because I'm probably not going to finish up at an elevator. Um, so yeah, you can press the button there and then as long as you're inside it, you'll leave. Now, there is a spawn. I'm not going to run up to it just now, but there is a spawn inside that room up the end there. Um, and it'll be right underneath the main loot area section. You can either go through one of the side doors and go straight up into the uh, main loot area, or there's a, you'll go through that doorway there, and it will lead you pretty much to where we are here, or you can go through the side doors. The basement's a little bit harder to understand. It took me the longest... Out of the whole map, the basement was the, the, took the longest to uh, to figure out. So coming up here, this is where I was talking about throwing those grenades. And you can go back down here. So if you want to extract um, as well, if you remember the, ice, uh, the, the freezer room, you come down that staircase. If you don't want to go through hangar gate where the, uh, the scav spawn or the raider spawn, you can run straight down this wooden section, down this staircase. And then uh, go down and turn the right. Press that lip, the switch, and then go through the elevator. Be very careful. Um, these are not bulletproof. You know, they'll you can shoot straight through it, and um, people will lay prone and shoot. Like they'll see your legs and just shoot straight through it. Coming around the back here, I go. I spend a lot of my time using this back area because no one, no one seems to use it much. So, um, if you go all the way down here. You can go through that door I just ran past. This is probably one of the safest extracts in the game for labs. Um, no one no one uses it, and if you do use it, no one's really going to come down to chase you. I've heard of raiders coming down here to, to try and kill you, but I've never, never seen it happen. Uh, and you can spawn down here. So you press this, the water will drop, and all you have to do is stand over here. You stand exactly here, and you'll extract. So that's the sewer extract. Um, do a conduit. All you have to do, it takes about probably 20 seconds for the water to drop. And then you can extract from there. So we're going to turn left here. If, you, if, you, if you're if you in doubt and you're in the basement, just hug one of the walls and you'll get around the, the whole basement. You could pretty much do a giant, giant lap around the, uh, all the extracts and that. So this leads to where the drop down was that I was talking about before from the server room. Um, there is spawns in this area and it is 
kind of chaotic. A lot of people use this area to farm raiders and to farm players and, and a lot of PvP action. So that drop down from the server room is right there. If you drop full sprint aiming for that corner, you'll land on top of that staircase. You just got to keep running a few more times, like in the spot kind of thing. You understand once you try it a few times uh, and you won't break your legs. So you can sprint, aim, like go sprint straight down that in that direction. You'll land on top of that and you won't break your legs. From there, we'll press this one. Um, and then from there, you can press this elevator right here. And this is the medical block elevator. So just like the other one, when you press that button there, there's a pretty good chance that raiders will start spawning in. So just be wary of that. Um, what I would normally do if I spawn down here is I'll press that button down there and I'll straight down, run down here and press this button right here. After pressing both of those, um, raiders will start spawning in nearly every time in the basement. So you can actually start farming them for some money or XP um, if you if you want to. Um, I really should show you this staircase going up because it's important. So this staircase here from the uh, medical elevator, so that goes into the server room. That's the black key card room. And then if we went up one more time, you got the green card room there, and also the uh, the new you know tape key key card with tape on it room there. So, as you can tell, a lot of focus is in this specific spot. This whole like corridor going down. Um, a lot of it will come through. A lot of the action will happen through here. Now running down this way, I'm going to do a lap of pretty much the external or the basement, so you can at least understand it. You've got um, the next staircase going up, and this one leads to your a uh, blue keycard room, um, which is right there. Now, if this, the other button that we pressed down in the basement, the second one, um, is being pressed, it opens up this elevator right here, uh, and this is the cargo elevator. So if people have been fighting down the basement, generally both those buttons are being pressed, and if you want a safe extract around this area, this one is actually a pretty good one to use. A lot of people, I, I very rarely see people use it. Um, the downside to this one, is it takes a little bit longer for the doors to open and close and so sometimes people can hear it coming and they'll try and get across and kill you um but like as you can see the doors opening and closing so it, it's quite loud and it makes and it's pretty obvious that someone's using it but at the same time i personally think it, it works quite well um particularly later on moving back down to the basement Going down this way, this is probably an extract that I've I've only ever used a few times, but um, this hole right here, uh, it's called the ventilation shaft, and it says you don't fit in it. It's because I'm wearing a backpack bigger than a MBSS. If you come in with an MBSS or smaller, uh, you can extract through this one. So it doesn't matter how much armored rig and what armor and gear you got on, you can you can extract that. It's 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 a pretty good one if you're like in in the shit, like you're in a fight here. Like I've done this a few times. Uh, it's actually probably one I've used it the most. I've gotten in a fight and I'm like, I'm, I'm pinned back to about here and I'm like, this is not going my way. And I'll literally just go flick the ba backpack off, which is going to be a hot key for that soon. And I'll just, uh, and I'll just extract and I'll just be like, good luck. <laughs> so, I don't know. I find it a bit fun. Um, so yeah, they're moving down this way. I'm going to show you that middle spawn area as well. Um, you can get like weapon crates and that down here. There's there's grenade spawns in this box here. And then down this way. This is where I was talking about before about spawning in that middle section. So you'll spawn literally right here. Okay? And this door will be closed. So the easiest way to know, if you spawn in this location here, the two doors that are open take you up. So there's a staircase here, take you up to the, uh, to this side, the, the hangar gate side. This side here. will take you up to, um, what, where the Ledex, the dome, yellow dome side is. And obviously the doorway will take you back.
Um, there's probably only like one more thing I want to show you. So coming back down this way, a lot of people don't hang out in this sec section, but um, there is a spawn right here. And so talking a little bit about um, that, that bit before about the sound not being heard coming up. So going back towards parking gate being down this hallway right here. You can pretty much walk up to here and no one would even hear you. Even if they're just right there. And then you just creep the last section. And then you can shoot them in the back. Besides that, guys, that is pretty much the entire um, lab map. That's all the keys, all the areas. And yeah, hopefully you guys have uh, gained some knowledge from it. And yeah. Hopefully you got uh, everything you need to do to win. Win. So guys, thanks for watching another video. Hopefully this one was helpful. It's a lot harder to, uh, to get a good run on labs. So hopefully you guys will be able to use some of these tips, tips tricks, and, and map knowledge to increase your survivability on that map. It's it's one of the most brutal maps in the game. Um, but you can make a lot of money, and it's a PvP heaven if you're into that kind of thing. So um, usual drill, guys. Smash, share, like button, comment, and uh, comment if you want to have any you know, input on the questions and stuff. But it really does help out with the uh, discoverability of the video. Uh, subscribe, notification bell if you want to know the most up-to-date latest information on Tarkov. And uh, I do pump out some other videos as well. Um, I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. So go to the link below. Give me a follow over there. And lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.